We haven't had an Audi S4 V8 for a while, and this particular car is very nice. It's a 2005 Audi S4, obviously. It's got the 4.2 litre V8, which has a whopping 253 kilowatts. It's totally standard, except for some exhaust tips, and it's done 139 thousand kilometers with a very good service history to it. The interior is excellent. I'd go so far as to say it's one of the best Audi A4s or S4s I've seen from this era in years. The suede on the seats is excellent. All the buttons are very good. Often they they wear out from people using their nails instead of using their finger to do things. You know they sometimes get jammed these drawers. Let's just use it like this. Unfortunately people use their nails and um, it wears away a lot of the switches and things which makes the car look old. It's got a Bose sound system. It's got a very nice set of Dunlop tyres. And it's just a very clean car. I don't use that word a lot but uh, it's the only way I can describe it in terms of the wheels, the paint, the interior. It doesn't smell like it's been smoked in or it's had a dog in it or anything like that. It's just a very nice car. The wear and tear on the seats is minimal. It's got a very good service history to it. Probably the only thing I'd say is just the back tinting in the window is starting to bubble a little bit. Well, you could change that for 150 odd dollars, I would think. And as I said, I believe it to be totally standard. It's just got some slightly different exhaust tips and possibly a muffler, um, which actually makes it sound fantastic. It's been very well maintained. It's got two remote keys. Thank you, Audi, for uh, putting a full-size spare in this car. It's nice to see. It's a bit of a rarity these days with run flats and a lot of space savers. So I can't see any chips or scratches in the paint whatsoever. Even the wheels are excellent. But if you've been looking for an Audi S4 V8, Unfortunately, there is a lot of rubbish around, but the good news is this is a particularly good car. It's got good kilometres. You'll see these on the internet with two, three hundred thousand kilometres. You'll say, wow, there must be, be a strong engine and gearbox. And the answer is yes, well, of course, it's an Audi S4. So it's got a stronger engine, which is built to last, and uh, generally much bigger brakes, a stronger gearbox and diffs to handle the extra power as opposed to just an a4 1.8 litre nothing. So with these AMG's Motorsport S and RS models with Audi they really are built to last and they come with all the gear you know, including your driving lights, Xenon lights, this car's also got navigation, sunroof. So the wheels are very good, there's one little mark on that wheel there. I think it's the only wheel with a mark on it whatsoever. I mean sometimes you get a car like this and every single wheel is badly damaged. The timber works excellent. The steering wheel. It really is a very nice car. It's registered until the 20th of January 2017. And you know what? I'm sure there's probably cheaper Audi S4s from 2003, 2004 and 2005 on the internet. I would certainly believe that. What I don't think there is though is an Audi S4 in this condition with 139,000 kilometres. And when you buy one of these cars you don't go on the internet and say oh price load or high that looks great I'll buy that. You've actually got to go and look at them, test drive them, look at the logbook and you've got to buy the best car for a fair price which is exactly what I think this car is. And do you know what, if you buy a good one and you pay good money for it and you look after it, you're going to get good money for it. It's as simple as that. If you buy a cheap car for 15 grand or 20 grand, whatever it might be, and you think you're getting a deal because of the dents, scrapes, scratches, it's been a major accident, engine's been replaced, whatever, chances are when it comes to selling it, 
you're going to have the same issue. And there are a few of these getting around with 170, 180,000 kilometres. My concern with that is simply that if you drive it for the next year or two and you're doing some codes, it's going to have over 200,000 kilometres. With 139,000 kilometres, you've got a lot of driving before you get to 200,000. I'm not saying the car won't get there, it's just a matter of sitting at the steering wheel and looking at 200,000 kilometres. It's very impressive and we are very proud to offer you this car from the old timer centre in Marrickville. Thanks so much for watching and we look forward to hearing from you.